Good morning! Welcome to Hutchison Middle School. My name is Mike Elligood and I am the principal here at Hutchison Middle School. I have the opportunity to go back and forth between Hutchison Middle School 7 and Hutchison Middle School 8. I'm extremely glad that you're here and I look forward to having an awesome school year as well as do your teachers and all the other staff that are here to help serve you at Hutchison Middle School throughout the school year. One of the things that I wanted to do with the video this morning is share a few of my basic uh, expectations for all teachers as well as especially you as students. So the first one here is, uh, and you can read along with me as we go, I understand that I shall be responsible for understanding and complying with this code of student behavior. Any behavior on the student's part that keeps teachers from teaching or other students from learning is considered a distraction and may result in disciplinary action. Basically, what I mean by that, and it is in your handbook, is that anything you do that is a distraction for your teachers or for other students is unacceptable. You are 12 to 14 years old, and we expect you to act like an adult, uh, even though we know you're going to make mistakes once in a while. But we do expect you to get better with that and have less and less distractions throughout the school year. Some of the highlights are, number one, I will, have be I will behave acceptably while at school or school functions. This includes not only during the regular school day, but if you're attending activities. Two, I will follow directions of my teacher and or any staff member in the building. This includes all paras, lunchroom, custodians, any adult that's in the building, you will follow directions for. Number three, I will be prepared for class. This is as simple as bringing your textbook, bringing your pen or pencil, and bringing some paper. I don't believe our expectations for that are too high, but that's one of the things that makes it so that middle school students are not successful. Number four, I will do my work both in class and at home. The biggest reason why middle school students fail middle school or have a class that they don't pass is that they don't do their homework. All right, teachers, most teachers are going to give you plenty of time in your class to get the majority of your homework done. But as the word says, homework, means some of it does need to go home and you have to be responsible for bringing it back. Number five, if I am absent, I will contact my teachers about makeup work when I return. One of the things about growing up is becoming responsible. In order to become responsible, when I miss work, there's things that I have to do to make up. When you miss school, which is your job, there's things that you're going to have to do when you come back. Number six, I will attend class on time every day unless ill or excused. What that means is on time is different sometimes from teacher to teacher. Some teachers may expect you to be sitting in your seat uh, and ready to go when the bell rings. Other teachers may say, hey, all you got to do is make sure your body is in the classroom. The thing that is tough for sometimes for middle school students is knowing which teacher is, is which. So the best rule of thumb is follow the rules of each teacher that you have and if it in doubt, make sure you're sitting in your seat on time when the bell rings. That way there's no, no question as to whether you're there or not. 